Minasan konnichiwa, this is David, and this evening we are doing a review of the 1-144 High New Gundam V-Raid. Or Varabe. Or Varabe. <laughs> um, this is the new kit from Gundam Build Fighters. Um, this is actually from the um, Gundam Build Fighters Ace uh, manga. Uh, this is Tatsuya Yuki's um, mobile suit. And it is lovely. As you can see, it's got a great silhouette. It is um, big. It it's is practically got lines of majesty coming off of it. Yes, yes. Um, other mobile suits would not know majesty if it bit them in the face. <laughs> so, um, minor, minor complaint. The first, the only problem that I've had so far with it is this ball joint that holds the waist on is kind of loose. I know I can do things with that. I know I can fix that. You don't need to tell me that. Um, yes, I, I know how to do it, but it's a pain in the ass. Um, ironically, he actually balances better than I would expect a high new variant to balance. Um, I'm putting him on a um, an action base anyway uh, because he just looks better that way and he's more poseable. Um, when I say he can balance, I'm just saying he can basically balance. He can stand up. He can <coughs> technically balance. Yeah, he can technically balance. He's not got a lot of posability because he's got these huge-ass funnels. Um, as far as these go, they um, these two are solid. You cannot really do anything with them. They, they You can pop them off if you want to. Um, this one is the one that's actually interactive. Um, you can take it out all the way um, it'll it'll stretch out to its full length or you can compress it and turn it into one of those little spiky looking ones um, to make for a more perfect wing effect it has these little clips inside of it that snap it into place so it stays there which is kind of cool looks nice I'll do that to the other one real quick Okay, and so as far as the backpack stuff goes, um, these wings are fully articulate. They actually bend in the same way that the um, Wing Zero um, bends, and they are on poly caps that are pretty tight. That's nice. And it's got that centerpiece there, and then these pivot. Um, they, I kind of wish they were on ball joints that could move a little bit more, but they're not, so it's not a big deal. Um, as far as accessory stuff goes, he does have this shield. Nice. Um, he has a double-sided beam saber. And he has standard rifle and bazooka and a hand with which to use it. Um, the bazooka is huge um, and it will only fit in a couple of configurations. He cannot passively hold it uh, because of that part right there. It, will, it just won't work. Um, but you know, this isn't a hanging around weapon. <laughs> um, it is not a sidearm. You don't, you don't direct traffic with that thing. No. I love his feet though. Look at those chunky, almost wedge-like heels. Yes, in fact, um, with the kit, you get the original um, heels for the high new, which are not nearly as impressive. This is really great looking. I, I do think that that's a great improvement. I had sandals with those kind of chunky heels. They're great. Now, you'll also notice right here that um, he does come with decals. He comes with stickers. Um, they're the rub-on decal st style. Um, they look great, I think. I like them a lot. He comes with a few of them. He comes with a few of those number twos. Um, and then a couple of unicorn heads um, that you can put in a couple of different places. Not a lot of them, but it's a good start. Um, and the instruction manual does suggest that you can use other ones um, from other kits, which of course is always going to be the case. But I think it would look particularly good on this kit because they're just the, those blues take to white decals very well. And the white take to pretty much everything mm. except for white. So that's nice. Um, also, he benefits greatly from some basic panel lining, which you can see here I have done. Um, he's got a little bit on the arms there. Um, I did the face. Those eyes are really nice. Is that a sticker? Yes, the, uh, the eyes are a sticker, and they did turn out pretty well. Okay, so the 
gimmick that he has that the high new does not have is this is kind of cool. He comes with oh, he comes with this. These are legs. Um, which um, will go with the backpack to become a bird form. I'm going to do that actually for the first time here. So I consult my manual because I've not done it before. Okay, this basically involves taking off all of these pieces. They kind of don't come apart the way that I would have expected them to. Um, the loosest parts are not the parts that inherently you want to detach. Okay, and then we're doing these. I don't know how those come off. Oh, they do just, man, they're actually really tight on there. So I didn't think that they, I thought that they were um, affixed. Okay, so anyway, you have your wings, um, you have these, and then you have this piece. And what they're going to do is work with the shield. And the shield will connect here. Man, these are all very tight, which is a good thing. It's actually, it's a really, really great thing. Um, means that they'll stay in good positions and they probably won't whittle down very quickly. Okay, and these thrusters pop off. And then you replace those pieces with those. Slightly complicated transformation. Not an immensely complicated one, but a little bit. See if you have anybody yelling at you to turn the waist around. Yeah. Well, fortunately, there's not really any waist to turn around, so I don't have to worry about that this time. <laughs> but I was right about the leg. Yeah, you were. I just didn't <laughs> see it in the instructions. I went looking. Okay. Okay, so we've got that. And then this pops on here. And then we have, lastly, the head. And it's sort of like a pterodactyl type thing. It's huge. Yeah, that's, that's some big shit. Yeah, this is not a tiny pet accessory. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, um, so there's that. And then whenever it's in that form, your high new, of course, still looks lovely. I mean, it's still the high new. Um, and then you can stick the Bear Guy family back on. You could, you could. Um, also, he comes with extra thrusters. <laughs> Damn, see, it's that. Yes, yeah, that ball joint. That ball joint's kind of shitty. You know what, you're gonna find it's the same in the... Um, the portent. The portent. Yeah, I mean, the, those ball joints are, are great for articulation. It's just they're really soft. And yeah, so he does have those to replace the normal ones um, whenever he's wearing, or uh, whenever he's got the bird piece out. And there you go. That's the high new. Um, the high new Gundam V Rave. Um, I dig it. I think it's nice. Yeah. Uh, I, it's, kit. it's a lovely, lovely kit. Um, I am definitely a fan. I, I mean, I've always liked the high new, but and I've always liked pretty much everything that they assign to Tatsuya Yuki. Um, so, I think that it's, um, it's... If you were a real guy, he'd have great taste. 
Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. I mean, what it, he's got the um, the Zaku amazing, the Comfer amazing, um, the uh, Exia um, yeah, Dark so Matter, Dark the Exia amazing, um, the Red Warrior. The Red Warrior is gorgeous. This and is then gorgeous. This, so no, this. I think this actually one ups the the Gundam Red Warrior. Um, you think so? Yeah, I like the Red Warrior kit a lot, but this is this is really cool. <laughs> Red Warrior does not have a giant bird. Yeah, he does not. So <laughs> that's an inherent fail. Um, so here we go. There is our V Rabe. Matane, everyone. Matane. If you like our shit, like us, subscribe, comment. You know the drill.